Hopefully you've just seen the footage of Trojan running, at which point the uh, clack was a success, took a few seats, but she ran. So, next on the uh, Imlec prep fixing Trojan's problems is the whistle valve. Again, this is a standard, widely available commercial whistle valve. Uh, one thing that has always bugged me about the design of these is that the lever is not actually attached to the pin. If it focuses, you might be able to see it out of the hole. But essentially, it just pushes against it. But when you pull it away, it doesn't pull it out any further. So there's no way of actually forcing it, to, of pulling it to seat. So that's one thing I might change. Nick, but I mean, for a start, we will at least pull the back up. Pull the back off, what am I saying? We'll unscrew the back. Pull the pin out. Possibly tidy the seats up, similar to the clack. Look at the actual pin itself. Because you should be able to hear, if I blow through it next to the microphone, I want to blow through the boiler side. And you should hear it escaping out of there because it's not seating properly. See, that's uh, that's not depressed. And if I if I now do it this time, pushing the lever, you shouldn't hear actually much difference. Although you should. No. Okay. So that's very not working, which is the problem I'm having. Where I have to clout it, hence the marks, to make it shut. So it might need a strong spring. Maybe something's bent, jammed, got muck in it. We won't know. We're going to find out though. Just gonna take this over to the uh, the light to see down there properly. Uh, yeah, so once again, the seat is kind of horrible down there. But because of the design of this thing, which I really don't like, as I've already said, you can't just hold it in the chuck and spin it like I have the other ones. So we'll come back to that. But as well as the seat looking funny. This ball looks pretty shot. It's pretty uneven. It's very scratched, dinged, marred and dented. This end's nothing special. And the spring is... Meh. Spring's all right. As we said before, this has an awkward shape to hold in a lathe. So we can do this a different way. It's clocked, vertical, or as near as damn it in the vice of the, of the mill. Uh, in a second, we're gonna lower the milling cutter in there, the tiniest of skims and whip it out, similar to the lathe, just in a mill. It's now set to where the milling cutter goes down inside and the depth stop stops it going too far. Um, so without anything else to do, let's spin it. You'll hear it. And out. Right, let's uh, let's have a look at it. Right, so it's been in the mill, as you saw. The seat looks nice. There is some muck down there, which I need to clean out. Uh, and then we'll whack it with a ball. Now, blow test. So, whistle relaxed. I'm coming next to the mic. Uh, 
Ah, now this is what we saw on the loco. So actually now, if I push that and reseat it. <sighs> actually, I can feel by doing that, that the board isn't on the seat. It's being held off the seat by the pin, I think, by the way it's rocking about. Oh, there we go, did see it. Right, okay, and now it's not seated again. So the pin is not dropping back cleanly. And because there is no way of doing so, this is why I wanted a button on the end of it. Okay, what's also not helping, put the finger over the end of it, don't lose the ball. When the whistle's like that, it's not pushing on the pin, which you can see down the top. But when the whistle is put fully relaxed, shall we say open, so if I was to hold it back by a spring, it does indeed slightly, it stops, not only against the whistle body, but also slightly against the pin. Yeah, another reason why I don't like these des this design. Because right, okay, I'm gonna. I don't know how much you can see this. Right, I'm gonna try and hold it here. Um, and show you the position of the whistle handle as I blow it. And I don't know if you can hear this, but when it's fully back, it is it is letting by, which is annoying to say the least. But it is now seating, so. The seat is now good, and the board is now good. So when it should be closed, except for the pin, it is fully closed. So now I need to look at the pin, or try and work out why the pin's not closing off. So if I put the spring back in a second, this is just saving me having to hold the thing. And to make it work as it should, but here we go. so roughly back together. The action feels the same as it should. Okay, I'm coming to next to the mic, so I'm gonna blow now. Nothing. Next, the next one, I'm gonna be pushing the whistle button valve lever so you can hear it blow. You can hear it's kind of reluctant to close and seal. I think it's much to, to do with this uh, pin lever thing.